I knew you'd be here. I'm always with you. Hey, dream girl, you got a visitor. Why you want it to be me, man? There's plenty of other nasty criminals around here to make fools out they sell. <clears throat> what do you want me to say? Do you want me to say that the department needs you because you're a hero? Okay. Well, every kid down in the Piedmont wants to be just like you. Half of them are gonna OD by the time they're 25. The other half is gonna end up here. Maybe you can save a few by making a videotape. And how am I supposed to explain this, uh, this big turnaround? Say, I just... Wow, Jesus. Say whatever you want. Nah, they'll think I cheesed up. Might make all this mean something. Yeah, and why don't you just say what this is? It probably just warms your heart. Thought of them pumping me full of poison. Nice to meet you. Now, what was that stuff you were mumbling about before? The deal is he wants a slice of the Piedmont. Says there's plenty enough for two. <laughs> well, that's a pretty stupid man's opinion, don't you think? There he is. This dude? You Ronnie Seba? <laughs> yep. You and your dogs are trying to shut down my business. Let me ask you something. You come in my room. You amble your little self over to my counter. You finger my crown collection Rolex, and then you just tip out the door. Now. What I'm gonna do? You get off my ass before I gotta shove you off. Uh -oh. <laughs> or maybe we should just chill and deal with business during business hours, you know what I'm saying? Let me hip you to something, freak. You don't get with the program around here. You understand that. You know what I think? If you don't keep your paws off of me, I'm gonna kick you right in your pole. And your car's a piece of junk too, you slime. At. Stars? That smog. You couldn't see a street light through that garbage. So, uh, <clears throat> you had a bad date? <laughs> that wasn't a date. That was being mauled by some slime named Vic. Vic Molina's an animal, honey. Oh, really? <laughs> Where were you an hour ago?
you really looking at the stars? Yeah. I do that. Me too. But I don't tell nobody. You know, sounds weird. I'm Ronnie Seabach. Rosie Martinez. God, this is what I need, a Romeo. <laughs> Forget procedure, Derry. I just want to know what the hell you were doing in there. Playing shy with a guy like that just doesn't cut it. Yeah, well, getting your head blown off doesn't cut it either. I got in, didn't I? Yeah, well, just don't do it again. You practically gave me a heart attack. Promise. Hey, Derry. How close are you on the Seabuck thing? I'm more than close. He's my supplier now. The man's days are numbered, Tom. It's good. Listen, you know, um, being two months out of the academy, I just want you to know that if you're scared, it's OK. It's normal. But you got to be careful with a guy like this. Yeah, the man's a player. And he's got a lot at stake down there, you know? Not for long. Just don't push it. Hey, I said an inch. What do you call that? That looked like an inch and a half to me. <laughs> oh, yeah? What are you, a mathematician all of a sudden? No, but I'm kind of picky about my hair. That's because it's nice. You're nice. Hey, what's up, homies? Damn. Anybody ever teach you peasants how to knock? We got to talk around, man. I'm busy, little fella. I need a couple ounces. And more if you got it. Shop is definitely closed. I need some stuff tonight. And I'm parking it right here until you deliver. Always just got to take it from the top with you, huh? Always. Now, this is my house. And you deal with me on my time. Not before and not after. We're gonna sweep the Piedmont. Double shifts, inch by inch. We'll find him. Then what? What we really need is to take that piece of scum out. Mm, Y'all get me a decent TV this time. Can't guarantee color. Yeah, well, MTV sucks in black and white. I already told you that. They're working on it. Yeah, it's stupid. It's like watching a rose parade in black and white. It don't make no sense. Y'all, uh, moved to bed, huh? There was a leak. Blanket got moldy. So, how much time do I got, anyway? Uh, 18 hours, more or less. Well, I would love more. But, didn't nobody ask me. Still plenty of time. <laughs> Just a few questions, Ronnie. Would you like a spiritual advisor? Do you mean, uh, 
You mean like a psychic? A priest or a minister. <laughs> nah, I ain't no hypocrite. You sure? It'd make you feel better. Nah. Where's my TV, though? It's coming. You get a meal tonight. Or anything special? <laughs> I don't know. Dumb man, I mean, uh, fried chicken, maybe uh, mashed potatoes. I don't know. Could I have a beer this time? Sure, you're over age now. <laughs> All right, then. Don't matter. Ronnie, since your mother's passed away, you'll have to decide on the arrangements. Oh, well, I mean, what I would like if they made a movie, I would like Sean Penn to play me because I think he's pretty fly. Uh, no, uh, burial arrangements. How do you want to be disposed of? What it matter, man? I mean, how am I going to know if you don't do what I say? We'll do it. You just make it look like I'm asleep. Where would you like to be buried? Well, ain't nobody gonna look for us here. Homies think it's bad luck to lay low in the cemetery. Then what are we doing here? It ain't bad luck. You no, know, if that guy just lifted and sealed, no one would have got hurt. She was tripping probably frying hard on something. But the first dude gets all up in my face, and then he pulls a gun. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Come on, sit down. Hi. Check out that rock. It's half empty, like they didn't have nothing else to say on it. <laughs> That's for two people. What, like she ain't dead yet? And they probably got him while she was still alive. So they could be together forever, I guess. Really? Yeah. That's being down with someone serious. Yeah, very serious. That's beautiful, man, you know. They made a plan and they stuck to it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless she changed her mind before she's dead. Ronnie. I ain't staying here no more. I gotta get out of here. What you wanna do? You wanna go back? These homies are looking for us on the street. Yeah, but I heard about you, Ronnie. You know, you live large. You can afford to get me out of this rain. I, mean, I know a place, but I just didn't want you to think. Don't act I... like you don't do it all the time with other girls. Maybe you're different. Me out of There's always trouble in the Piedmont, you know? If it ain't somebody getting killed, it's some stupid bitch getting pregnant by somebody else's husband. <laughs> yeah, well, um, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, sweetie, but uh, it's like that everywhere. Really? Yes, sir. <clears throat> I guess it just gives people something to talk about. What do you think they're saying about us? Depends who's talking. <laughs> so, when do you want to go back? A uh, couple days. Gotta wait for Derek's posse to chill. Can't stay awake no more. That's all right. Just go to sleep. I'll watch you. You're yeah, right. As soon as my eyes are closed, you're going to be fast asleep. <laughs> no. I can go for days sometimes without sleeping. I got this trick to it. Just tap my thumb to a sign in my head, and it always works. It's kind of weird. Go ahead. Hey. Hmm. 
Mm. Is it really like that everywhere? I mean, like, somebody's always in trouble. There's no place you can go. Yeah. Dairy, right? Wow, what's it say? Read it. <laughs> Girl, I can't read it. <laughs> well, neither can I. But I can't read that. That's my name right there. But the guy was a cop. Yeah, this is hype. Now, we can go back. We was hiding from Derry's set. Derry's a cop. He don't have a set. There ain't nothing hiding from the cops in the Piedmont. We do that every day. Ronnie. Let's not go back. Darling, I gotta tell you, all my money is tied up in deals in the Piedmont. We could get money. Oh, yeah. Uh, I could be the head chef at Burger Village, and maybe if I put a good word in, you could make the fries. Ronnie, we can get money. Now, I see that look in your eyes, girl. What we're trying to do here is stay away from trouble. Uh, it's not like we're gonna hurt anybody. <laughs> Don't play me like that. Look, Ronnie, you and I are just alike. We are two of a kind. And I know that you were thinking just like I was. Only I ain't afraid to say it. Or do it. You would really want all of that with me. Yeah. And you're saying we just, uh, we just do one thing and then never go back? Yeah. Here. Now you flash it when I give you the sign. All right? I'm the guy, so I think I have one too. All of a sudden, I'm scared. We don't have to do this, you know. Look, this is gonna be easier than anything we've ever seen in the Piedmont. Excuse me. Okay. You don't make this any tougher than it has to be. You just help us out. You give me what's in that register.
37. A little bigger since last time. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> I'm still a grown boy. What color do you want your suit to be? Shark skin. Italian cut. Blue or brown? Yeah. I wouldn't be caught dead in either one. I want to write a letter. I'll write it for you if you want. No. I spent two years in this hole learning how to write. I'll write it myself. Can't. No sharp objects allowed in the cell. I come on, I tell myself in with a pencil. It's personal. attention. <laughs> hey, Rosie. Can the person getting this read? Uh, someone will read it to her. Hey, Rosie. What up? Um, I know you got out a couple months ago. Don't put the ums in there. <laughs> I know you got out a couple months ago. And I figure you haven't come by because some suckhead's lawyer is uh, telling you not to. That's OK. I'm waiting for a stay. <laughs> it is getting pretty tight this time. If those dogs do this to me, would you please be there? Um, please be there if that happens. Anyway. Uh, I miss you. Stay out of trouble, Ronnie. You want me to roll over on him, and I ain't gonna do it. Rosie, they're gonna go after Ronnie no matter what you say. What you gotta decide is if you're gonna go with him. Well, I ain't making no deals. Going to jail for the rest of your life gonna help Ronnie? What happened the night Officer Washington was shot? What about the guy in the convenience store? Did Ronnie shoot him so there'd be no witnesses, or uh, did he get scared? You're a real bastard, you know that? We're not leaving here until you tell us. <laughs> He'd blow you in just to save his own ass. He ain't talking because he's trying to save my ass. Save your ass from what? Did you kill that guy? Yeah. Ronnie had me hold the gun, you know, like, for insurance. But we weren't going to use it or nothing. But the guy in the store, he lowered his hand underneath the counter like he was going for his gun. Is that the truth? 
It's our only chance, you know, to get out. We didn't mean to hurt nobody. I think I can get Ronnie Seabach tried as an adult. Well, what about the girl? Same. But she has no priors. She was an innocent agent in the case. Good behavior. Two and a half, three, max. She pulled the trigger. Yeah, but the whole thing was his idea. Special circumstances, felony. That's all we need. Um, what's gonna happen to him? A needle, I hope. On the convenience store killing? It's all we got. The evidence on Officer Washington's death was purely circumstantial. The case would be demolished in court. Even though we know he killed Derek. Right, so by prosecuting him to the fullest on this other case... Justice is served. Exactly. You know, it is possible that, that Ronnie shot Derry out of self-defense. None of this matters anyway. It's a different case. And bottom line, Seabach has a court-appointed attorney. The guy couldn't get him off a toilet seat. We're fine. Look, we're trying to revenge a shooting that might have been unintentional. Ronnie Seabach has a million arrests and no convictions. We've been trying to nail this guy for years. We have two dead bodies, one of whom happens to be a fellow officer. And we know that Ronnie committed one, if not both, of those murders. Now, I think it's time that justice work for our side. Determining what is fair and just is never easy. In this case, the death penalty is not the moral equivalent of murder, but rather the bonding together of our society in an attempt to discourage actions like those of Ronald Seabach. We, as a group, have spoken so that Ronald Seabach and others like him have no choice but to listen and to understand. I heard you were back, sweet thing. Welcome home. Hey, Rich. Looking fresh, girl. Come on in. No, that's all right. I gotta get home. Hey. I guess you heard. Been a few changes around here since you and Ronnie got jammed. What kind of changes? I look after the business now. You don't clear it with me. It doesn't happen at the Piedmont. Cool. Of course, Ronnie's still king. Wouldn't want to mess with that. Yeah, well, Ronnie screwed up. We both did. You hear he's on the row now? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> They're gonna mainline him. Ronnie doesn't even give a damn. What is this? Static. You want a color? I wanted a color picture. Forget it. The Project Galileo began 15 years ago when NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory decided the next spacecraft should be targeted solely for Jupiter. You like that stuff? Yeah, I look at stars. So does my grandson. <laughs> He's a dreamer. Wants to be an astronaut. <laughs> hmm, that'd be cool. In 1995, Galileo will enter Jupiter's orbit and transmit back to Earth pictures of the planet that at this point we can only imagine... Five years to get that thing up there? It's far. Grandkid will be, uh, 12 in 1995. Probably be in two cars by then. <laughs> Girls, too, the way kids are today. Ronnie. 
I ain't doing no tapes. Sorry. Me too. Is there any way I can change your mind? Nah. You said him. Kids down there think I'm some sort of hero or something. I couldn't do nothing to change that, man. If this happens to me, would you be there, please? El hombre dijo que es muy importante. ¿Qué es eso? You are the one who reads. The program said uh, that the Milky Way galaxy, which is our galaxy, and others are being pulled towards uh, this thing called wait, the Great Attra the Great Attractor. The But man, you know, it make me feel weird. You sure you don't want to talk to a, a chaplain? Just like yours. Chef made it himself. I think it'll make me sick because if I'm gonna get sick, I don't want to be. You'll be okay.
Bell. The phone line is open. If the state executive orders a stay. Rosie. We have to go to the other room now. Ronald Seabach, I have a warrant from this state which sentences you to death by lethal injection for the murder of Robert Cooper. You can make a statement at this time.